Hi, I'm Ellen. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. I had a different intro for this video filmed, but things have changed a lot in the world around us since I started doing the Chloe Ting Summer Shred Challenge. George Floyd's murder, which has sparked so many protests and a lot around the Black Lives Matters movement, which is really what everyone should be focusing on right now. So I've decided that throughout the month of June, I will be donating all of my AdSense revenue to Black Lives Matter causes. I will have a couple linked down below and I will be sure to have some receipts on my community tab as they become available. So that means that any of my videos that you watch, if you watch the ads, it will be contributing to the Black Lives Matter movement. Um, I wanted to do this in part because it feels like something that I can do to help make a change and because um, my YouTube isn't like a main source of revenue for me and so that's a huge privilege and I wanted to be able to do something more than than just sign petitions or put things on social media. So this is this is one of my ways of doing that and I encourage you all to donate if you have funds but if not just watching my videos will help. I guess is what I'm trying to say. Um, so without further ado, we'll get back to the video. Today is the first day of Chloe Ting's 2020 Summer Shred program. I have done other Chloe Ting programs in the past, both the Flat Belly program and the Hourglass Challenge, and I have videos on both of those, which I'll have linked down below if you want to check those out. So this is not like my day one day one because I've done her other programs but I wanted to continue to document this for myself as well as for you guys so maybe I can provide some more motivation or anything like that. Without further ado we'll take some measurements and then we will get working out. It is a little bit chilly in Colorado today so I am wearing leggings and a long sleeve but hopefully by the end of this challenge we'll have nice summer weather too. So at the beginning of this challenge, my waist measured at 30 and a half inches. I wanted to, in these before shots, show a bunch of different, I guess, versions <laughs> of my stomach. So here's with my high-rise leggings up, and then I wanted to show with it down and sucked in a little bit. Um, and then finally, you know, fully relaxed, belly out. I've always kind of struggled with how much of the workouts in these videos I should show and this time I decided I would show some of the workouts and also take notes throughout the challenge so that I could kind of talk through how it went day by day. So on the first day, I was really glad that she included this warm-up routine. I didn't do the warm-up and cool-downs every time, but I feel like it was definitely helpful, and in previous challenges I've done of Chloe Ting's, I would forget to do a warm-up or a cool-down and be really sore the next day, so that was definitely helpful. I found the first day really hard and I did have to take a lot more breaks than I thought I would need to. It was about 30 degrees outside, which made it tougher. Um, you know, weather can definitely affect the mood of a workout, so it was kind of rough that the first day of this challenge was super overcast and chilly, especially because it was the summer shred, so you want those summer vibes. One tip I have from one of the moves in this day is the cross dabs. Chloe does a pretty good job showing it, but I think a good tip is to start with your feet and then add your arms in after. On the second day, it was a little bit easier than the first. I didn't take many breaks at all. I worked out in the basement between some of my online classes, and that was nice because, again, it was cold outside. Um, I also went on a 30-minute walk outside after my workouts, which was really nice, and I was still at my aunt and uncle's place, which has a beautiful walking trail right beyond their backyard. On the third day, I went on another 30 minute walk. I didn't take any extra breaks, but I did let ads run in between the sets when, you know, whenever YouTube decided to give them to me. Um, I think the arm workouts were definitely hard, but doable. It made me realize I don't do a lot with my arms and they are noodles, <laughs> so it was nice to give them some attention. 
Day four was a rest day. I did do a 30 minute walk outside and I also did a 15 minute Mad Fit dance workout, which was 2000 themed and very fun. On day five, I found that the hardest exercise was doing the plank hop jacks and I struggled with that for quite a while in this challenge. Don't have any notes for day six for some reason. I think, uh, you know, we were losing steam. <laughs> My day eight notes say it was hot as balls outside, which is a, a weird saying, but you know, we'll, we'll just read off my script I wrote myself. Um, the 500 rep abs video was getting easier. This was the first day I did the no jumping hit video. Doing a video for the first time always is a little bit rough because you have to watch the video a little bit more to see what the moves are. I really like it when you're able to just kind of listen and follow along, um, not having to watch quite as much. I found the 10 minute toned arms workout deceivingly hard. I think it gets especially hard after all of the other workouts because you've already done some things with your arms. Uh, the crisscrosses were a big owl for me, and I did a 30-minute walk outside to cool down after all of the workouts. On day 9, I accidentally stayed up until 3 a.m. watching Korean dramas, so I was in a super weird mood all day. It was really muggy outside, which meant I sweat more than usual, and I already sweat a lot. <laughs> But I kind of had the realization that staying dedicated means working out even when I'm not motivated. On day 10, I kind of realized with bird dogs, having your toes tucked help a lot, uh, especially with balance and with the knee pain. For some parts of these workouts, I would fold my yoga mat over so that there was more cushion under my knees or under my elbows, whatever needed a little bit more support. This was also a day where we did the lower abs video and it was very hard. Day 11 was a rest day and I ended up going for another 30 minute walk. Day 12, I had the overall mood of I have so much to do and I don't want to do any of it. And I was kind of in that mood for multiple days before that as well, which carried into the beginning of my workout. And <laughs> there were four videos to do, so I was kind of dreading it. But I was able to gradually shift my mindset, focus on one exercise at a time, and eventually those other thoughts melted away, which was really nice and it makes you realize why people use exercise as a de-stressor or you know how some people do find it therapeutic. I also had a breakthrough with reverse crunches on this day. She's had them in every one of these challenges and every time I really struggle with them and I realized if you pretend that you are high-fiving the sky or the ceiling with your feet it's a lot more fun and I think it also helped with my form because I feel like it focused what I was doing more instead of me just trying to shove my body up into the air. After day 12, I was not that great about writing notes on the day to day. So the next note I have is for day 15, which says that the intense hit workout was in fact intense. And then I have a note on day 18, that was saying my legs felt heavier and heavier as I went through the workouts. And that is the last note that I have in here. For the last week of this challenge, I was back at my college apartment. So that's why I'm in a different location. And this entire week was really hot and sweaty outside, like hitting 90 degrees. And my apartment has this little front porch but it's usually in full sun. So here I'm on the last day doing the workouts on the front patio. I usually would have my AirPods connected to my phone and watch it that way, um, but <laughs> it was so hot this day that actually my phone overheated in the sun and I had to switch to using my laptop and have that in the apartment and my AirPods just listening to the workout. So if that tells you how hot it can get in Colorado, you know, you're really out here. <laughs> I may or may not have gotten a little bit of a sunburn from my time outside. Compared to the first day of this challenge doing this workout, it was way easier today, but still not perfect. Took a couple breaks. Um, I think I'm probably not getting 500 reps even on the last day, but a lot of progress was made in these 28 days and 
I'm gonna keep going with it, so. I found it a little bit random that the do this every day to lose weight video was thrown in at the end of this challenge. It hadn't been in the rest of the schedule for this one, and I haven't actually done the two week shred, which I think this is a part of. So this was a new video to me and definitely a challenging one. You also might notice I moved inside, get out of the sun a little bit. Um, it was still a lot of sweating because this was a difficult workout. I also found myself having to watch the video a lot more closely because I hadn't done this one a lot. I found I still need to work on my balance some more and there are definitely some moves in this one that I wasn't able to fully do. I did some of the low impact, I took more breaks, all of that. So I think, you know, even when you feel you're at the end of a challenge, it's not really the end because this journey is more than that. Um, so for me, it's about more than just this one thing. I'm trying to make lifestyle changes and really make exercise a part of my daily routine. So I think it's great to keep finding new fitness goals through these different videos and just trying all kinds of different things. The last workout of the challenge was this 1000 reps video, which I think is also a part of another program and I had not done it before this. So again, kind of weird to have a new workout on the final day, but it was definitely challenging. I do not think that I got all 1,000 reps, but who's to say? I wasn't really counting. Um, I don't have a ton to say about this workout other than that. Um, it was really satisfying to know that at the end of this workout, I would be done with the entire program. I did want to include the entire workout in this video for those of you who enjoy seeing that, but if you don't, feel free to skip ahead to the results. Today is the day after I finished the Chloe Ting Summer Shred Challenge and I just did my measurements and my after shots and I feel like there's not really a big change in my body and that's pretty typical for these challenges and the ones I've done in the past as well. I actually ended up going up a half of an inch on my waist and I wanted to show again the same leggings and with them up as well as down, slightly sucked in, and fully out. I didn't have a ton of physical progress, but it's important to remember not to compare yourself to others' progress and to love your body as it is. I'm still really proud of myself for staying consistent, and it was really good because it helped get me out of my head a little bit because 
there's so much going on in the world right now and it's important to take time for your own mental health and physical health, which I think are very connected. So it was really nice for me to be able to go and release some energy through these Chloe Ting workouts and I always feel a lot stronger and more positive after. So I think that was something really great for me this past month and I'm glad I did it. A part of me thinks I didn't get results because I've been doing Chloe Ting's workouts for quite a while now and so maybe my body has gotten used to this level or type of workout and so I might try out something else next but I wanted to thank you guys for watching and wish you all the best if you're doing the Chloe Ting challenge and encourage you to give it a try if you're thinking about it. And just a reminder, I am going to be donating all of my AdSense money for the month of June to Black Lives Matter causes. I will have some linked down below and I will be sure to update you guys in the community tab. So if you want to hit subscribe or watch some more videos of mine, it will all help contribute to Black Lives Matter causes. See you in the next video. Bye!